Hi everyone, I'm Angela from High Quality Organics and I'm at the 2018 Natural Products Expo West Show. It's amazing to see how it continues to grow. Over 80,000 attendees here in Anaheim, California. Today, I'm gonna to share with you the top 10 trends I'm seeing at the show this year. The pet food category is a rapidly expanding section at the show this year, and we're seeing a variety of different natural and organic pet foods, as well as pet foods that include probiotics or prebiotics. Riley's Organic Pet Treats are not only certified organic, but they're the first pet food treat to be certified vegan and sold in a recyclable package. Maple is perhaps the biggest flavor trend we're seeing at the show this year, and it is in everything from barbecue sauces and jerky to breakfast pouches with oatmeal, even nut mixes. Living Intentions has these amazing nut mixes that are activated, meaning the nuts have been sprouted, so they're more bioavailable to us when we eat them. There's all sorts of flavors, but of course, one of the hot ones at the show is maple. Another trend we're seeing at the show a lot is the flavor of smoked. We're seeing it a wide variety of things, from sauces to jerky, even coconut chips. At Kettle, they've got a potato chip with smoked sea salt. Kettle brand is also showcasing another trend that we're seeing at the show, and that's the use of alternative oils in fried foods. They're using almond oil and avocado oil. One of the biggest trends we're seeing with a lot of the established companies at the Natural Products Expo West are kid-focused lines. Here at the show, Think Thin has introduced Think Kids. It's a protein bar with the highest amount of protein, seven grams, and only three grams of sugar. No artificial flavors or colors, and it's all been tested and approved by kids. We're also seeing a lot of alternative flowers being used at the show. The one that we're seeing the most, however, is cassava flour. And our friends at Simple Mills are using it in their organic cracker line. And they're also using another trend we're seeing a lot of, the smoky barbecue cheddar cracker. Ethnic flavors are all over the show this year. Turmeric continues to be strong, but we're starting to see other Indian flavors like curry, tandoori, and the company Hodo, who makes plant-based protein, has this amazing Moroccan and spiced tofu, absolutely delicious. Other flavors that we're seeing at the show are Cajun and Chinese Five Spice. We're seeing a lot of chilies at the show this year. Sriracha, which became big a couple years ago, is still in a lot of products. We're seeing harissa, cayenne, jalapeno, but this year I'm seeing a lot of habanero, and we're seeing it in everything from chips and crackers, popcorn, jerky, and even sauces, like this barbecue sauce from Hacks. Alternative sugars continue to be strong at the show. We see a lot of honey. I even saw hot honey, which was combined with cayenne. You should definitely Google that product. Um, there's been agave sugar instead of agave syrup. And a really exciting product we're seeing is erythritol. Now this is a sugar that's great for people that are following the ketogenic diet or those that are diabetic. And this company called Swerve is combining the erythritol with prebiotic fibers to help with the natural browning process that you want to see in baked goods. So check out Swerve if you want to use an alternative sugar for your baking needs. The coconut craze continues at the show. It started with coconut water, but it's really expanded. Made in Nature has these amazing coconut chips, Italian espresso, and of course, maple. Um, but we're seeing coconut in, in new and exciting ways, like coconut yogurt, coconut creamer for coffee, and of course, coconut sugar and coconut cooking oil for potato chips.